to start you on a fine day. Old book at the thrift store or sometimes libraries have books they're going to be getting rid of. And then you want to get some Mod Podge. So start with, you want to paint on a thick coat of Mod Podge around the edges. So after you have that done, you want to grab a piece of parchment paper. You want to close your book cover. Then you're going to set that aside and let it dry. The Mod Podge dry. So now I have a piece of chipboard that's three fourths inch wide. And I'm just going to mark all around. So then I'm going to grab an X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut along those lines, only cutting out a few pages at a time. So you're going to continue doing this until you get about a fourth of the pages left. So I have my book hollowed out and then I made a template. I'm going to put the template right on top of my book. Then I'm going to trace the inner square. So now I'm going to cut that out.
Okay, now I have my cover with the window cut in it. So next you wanna grab some black ink. And I know that Mod Podge yellows over time, but I'm okay with that. It'll just make this look more vintagey. You're going to ink around everything. You're going to need some double-sided tape. And you're going to need four magnets. I'm just going to put these in each corner. So I'm turning my double-sided tape upside down. So the sticky part's up. And then I'm just going to stick my magnet to it. some more double-sided tape. Just gonna check my closure. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Adding more double-sided tape. So now my book stays shut. Then you need to decide what paper collection you're going to be using. I'm going to be using steampunk spells and you're going to need to grab some graphic 45 chipboard. So from steampunk spells I cut the beware paper and I inked around and this is going to fit right inside my hollowed out book. I won't really be giving you the sizes because I don't know what size your book might be when if you do this project. So I'm going to glue that in on the bottom of my book. So then I have some chipboard pieces and I'm going to glue one right along the bottom here, centering it so there's a little gap on each side so I could fit these side pieces in. I also added hot glue to my chipboard. So next I'm going to take my two side pieces and glue them in. So next I have two little hinges here. I'm going to put some glue on one side of the hinge. I'm going to line it up with the 
chipboard. both sides. Then I have another piece of chipboard that I'm going to connect to those little hinges so that it has my first shelf in. Then I'm also going to put just a little on the edge here. So now my first shelf's in. So now I have two more pieces of chipboard. It'll go right above this shelf that I'm going to glue in. On these two side pieces, I did add hinges to each side that will sit on top of this shelf and hold up my next shelf. Then I have another shelf, so I'm going to put glue on top of these two little tabs I made. And a little on the back. So I have two more pieces of chipboard that I added a couple hinges to, and I'm going to glue them down on each side. Then I have my last shelf. I'm going to glue it right there. Now I have two more pieces of chipboard with the hinge glued to the bottom. And I have one more piece of chipboard that's going to be my top. So I have some Graphic 45 black washi tape and I'm going to put it around my front of my book and around the bookshelf.
So then from the clockwork page, I'm going to cut some little rectangles to cover my shelves. And I will ink them. And then from the steampunk spell sheet, I'm cutting out both sets of these stamps and the two that were on the packaging. And I'm going to put those on my sides. So now that I have my side pictures glued in, I'm going to glue in my shelf papers. So then using my template, I cut a frame from my beware paper. I'm going to center that right over my little shelves. Over my magnets. Just burnishing it on. So now I'm going to close my book and turn it over and I cut a sheet of my pattern paper to fit the bag. So then I cut a piece of pattern paper to four and a half by five and I scored it at half an inch on three of the sides. And I'm going to ink that. So then I'm going to put glue on those half inch tabs. I'm going to center it where I want it on the back. Then I'm going to grab the sticker sheet and I'm going to grab the sticker here. And I'm going to place it right on the pocket. I also cut a piece to cover the spine. But before I put that on, I want to grab the sticker sheet and I'm going to take this Vintage Voyages and I'm also going to use this butterfly. And I'm just going to punch out where the holes are. And I'm going to add a few brads. Add some double-sided tape right over my brads. And 
And I'm going to add some glue. And I'm going to add this right to my spine. Okay, so now I've added double-sided tape around my window, and I have a sheet of transparency that I cut to fit my opening. So then I cut this lady from the paper collection. I'm just going to trim it a little. And I'm going to place her about right here. Then I cut this frame to fit over my window. So I have these little metal door plates and knobs from Graphic 45. I'm going to be using this one. So I'm going to center it. And I'm going to mark my holes. And I'm going to punch my holes out. Taking off my double-sided tape backing. Then I cut another piece of pattern paper with the making a frame for the inside cover. Putting it right over my magnets. Burnish them down really good. I'm going to grab the sticker sheet and grab these two little gear stickers. I'm just going to put them right over the magnets. And take the strip that says The Witching Hour. Happens to be one of my favorite books by Anne Rice. And then I'm just going to line it up with my shelves. And trim it. I'm going to take the packaging from my knobs, ink around it, then using the regular tag and gear die, I cut two tags from the pattern paper. Glue that right on top. Glue my other one on the back. This will go in my pocket on the back. I 
I have some graphic 45 ornate metal corners. I'm going to grab two of those and I'm going to add them on right here. I'm just adding them on with E6000. Adding some little alligator clips just to hold them on till they dry. Then I have some, a little metal butterfly gears. This is a piece of the chipboard. I added a brad, a clock hand, and a gear to it. And I'm just going to put that right over her necklace. So my cover looks like that. I'm going to set this aside and let it finish drying. I'm going to grab a scrap of cardstock. Then I cut two pieces of Graphic 45 chipboard. I cut two at one and one fourth by one and five eighth. Then I cut a spine one fourth inch wide by one and five eighth. I did score the bottom of my cardstock to help me keep my chipboard aligned. Add glue to the back of my chipboard. And I'm going to add my spine. I'm going to leave about an eighth inch gap between. my last piece of chipboard leaving another eighth inch gap I'm going to just trim my paper down Holding my cardstock over my chipboard. Then I'm going to clip my corners. Put glue on my tabs. I'm just scoring between my chipboards. So that's my little cover. So then I cut two pieces of pattern paper. Here's one I already made from the Beaches Calling. And this one I just added plain printer paper in. I had to use three pieces for the plain printer paper ones. And then inside I have my notes for what size to cut my chipboard and then where to score at on my pages. My pages are one and a half by 11 and one fourth. And I scored on the 11 and the fourth side at one and one eighth two and one fourth, three and three eighths, four and a half, five and five eighths, six and three fourths, seven and seven eighths, nine and ten and one eighths. So then what you want to do is you want to leave the first tab loose and then you want to fold the next one down. Add glue. And 
and then fold the next page up so that way you got two stuck together, a single flap, two stuck together, and then fold the next page in, add glue, just keep folding your pages in and adding glue. So then they have two single pages and then that gives me four double pages that I glued together. So then on the next one, I'm going to put glue on this single page. And I'm going to take the first square of my next paper strip, add it right on. I'm going to fold the page in, add more glue. You want to just continue this till you get to the end. And you should have one single page left. So your pages look like this. So then you want to fold out those single sheets. You want to apply glue to them. Then you want to evenly place it between your, on your spine, between your score lines. And I usually go back in and just score on top of it. your book looks like that. So now your little book's ready to decorate. So I'm just grabbing a piece of scrap and I'm going to cut a piece same size as my book. I'm going to put this right over the spine, kind of bubbling up a little bit. So I'm just going to put some glue on each side. Then I'm going to take the top of the Vintage Voyage sheet and I'm going to cut out steampunk spells. I'm 
going to ink around it. a little glue to the back. I'm going to place that right on my spine. So then from the pattern paper I cut two inside covers and two outside covers. One for the back and one for the front. Just want to glue those right on. That's what my book's looking like so far. So next I'm going to grab the sticker sheet and I'm going to fussy cut her out. I'm going to place her on my cover. Then I'm going to grab the sticker sheet and I'm going to cut out the witching hour. I'm going to place that right on the inside cover. From the sticker sheet, I'm going to grab one of these owl pictures. I'm just going to trim it down a little. I'm just going to randomly pick a page and stick that in. I cut this bird from the paper collection from the cover page. I just bent him in half and then I'm going to place him so he pops up. Can add little pockets and put little tags inside them. You can add words. You 
could add more stickers or fussy cut flowers. So that is how I made my little book. So my plan for this is with each collection I use this year as a brand ambassador, I'm going to make a little book to put in my bookshelf. So I made The Beach is Calling for my audition book. And then Steampunk Spells for this project. So I made 24 little books. Some of them I did go ahead and add printer paper. Some I just left blank so that I can add scraps from the collection. Then my little books will just all be in my bookshelf, ready for me to grab one to decorate. Then I took some of the chipboard pieces and I turned them into little books. And those are going to sit up on the top shelf. I did have to trim my chipboard down just a little bit. Then I also have these cute little mason jars. I have two of them. And this little bottle, which I'm going to put upside down in the larger mason jar. And that's also going to sit on my shelf. And then this is just a little round light bulb. And it's going to sit in my littler mason jar. I hope you enjoyed my project. Thank you for watching.